What up, everybody? Caroline Jackpot coming at you on Sunday evening. Uh, I've had almost a full 24 hours to digest last night's 24-10 loss to the Kentucky Wildcats in Lexington and digest may not be the right word for it. I'm getting acid reflux. Man, I'm telling you what, that was one of the worst performances I've seen us put on the field in a long time. Really bad. Now, I will give Kentucky some credit here. They got a good football team. Uh, I knew going in that this might happen. I uh, knew that they were much improved. And a big surprise team. A big surprise team for a lot of, a lot of folks picking them to win five, six games this year. Um because of the quarterback situation. Um, uh, turns out it doesn't matter so much. That defense is really good. Uh, I was amazed at the speed uh, of Kentucky's defense. Really good there. Um, some playmakers on offense in the backfield, which we knew about. And Terry Wilson, uh, he's not a great quarterback by any means, but he's serviceable, and uh, he gets the job done. A heck of a lot better than that. What we had out there last night, wasn't he? Three interceptions. Three. One touchdown. Is this, I mean, is this where we're headed? You know, and the other thing that, that irritates me is from week one till now. And, yes, I know we lost a game there somewhere because of the hurricane. It might end up being a, a good thing that we lost it, not the hurricane's a good thing with it. Might be a good thing we didn't have to play it. We could have very well towed another L there. Zero improvement from the Coastal Carolina game to here. In fact, they have regressed and regressed badly. And I don't understand it. Um, you know, I've always been, I've been a big supporter of Coach Boom ever since he's been there. I've been always talking about go game costs and go Coach Boom, Coach Boom, Coach Boom. Now I'm starting to starting to become a little bit uh, not so enamored with Coach Boom anymore. Um, it, you know, it seems like, save the bowl game at the end of the season last year, our big games, we don't show up to play them. Georgia game, didn't show up to play it. Last night, didn't show up to play it. Last year at home, Kentucky, we were 2-0, and didn't show up to play it. Clemson, last two years, didn't show up to play them. And Tater fan can sit here and argue and say, well, we're just that much better than you. We just blew you out because you suck and we're, you know, a playoff team. Well, no. I mean, you lost last year to a fruit. You lost to the fruit. You almost lost to the fruit again yesterday. You lost to Pittsburgh. I mean, you played close games against bad teams. So I don't even want to hear that mess. They were not prepared to play either year. It was terrible. But Jake Bentley with those interceptions last night, man, and let's just go on ahead and face it. We, we lost 24 to 10. If you, if you want to go on ahead and say it, we, we lost 24 to 3 because that touchdown pass we got was on a busted coverage by them. It should have been picked off nine times out of ten. It would be picked off. There you go. We lost 24 to 3. And you look at that Georgia game, it was 41-17, that touchdown we got was in garbage time. So, you know, you might as well say we lost that 41 to 10. So, in our two SEC losses, that's 10 points and three points we scored. I'm talking about quality points. 13 divided by two, what's that? Six and a half points per SEC loss. It's ridiculous. And yeah, last week we got a, a good win on the road against Vanderbilt. Woo woo! Now, it turns out, you know, Vanderbilt's crap on a stick. Vanderbilt almost lost to Tennessee State yesterday. Not East Tennessee State, not Memphis, not Tennessee. Tennessee State, an FCS team from the Ohio Valley Conference. And not a very good one at that. Uh, yeah. Is there anywhere to go from here but up? I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, last night was just – I mean, it wasn't that our defense played that bad – that offense, this high-octane Brian McClendon offense that we're running, 
did exactly last night what I had feared that it was going to do going into this year. You know, you're running this up-tempo. They're like, oh, we want to run an up-tempo offense. We want to run at least 10 to 15 plays more a game and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's all great and wonderful if you're consistently getting first downs, if you're consistently getting chunk yardage and moving the chains. That kind of offense works great, and it wears other team out. But if what happens last night happens, if you go out there and you lay an egg every time you get the ball – you can't move it. Your punter's on the field more than anybody else. You've already got an already gas defense over here that you're having to substitute in that don't have a heck of a lot of depth on it already, and you're wearing them out. You're wearing them out. You give up on the running game too quick. All you want to do is throw deep routes along the sideline. This Lottie da bull crap to try to pad Jake's stats. And it's like they want Debo Samuel to catch these long balls. It's like they want to force everything to him. Hit him with some slants, man. Hit him with some misdirection. Something. Keep his defense off their toes. They know what's coming. Last night, no creativity whatsoever. None. No wrinkles thrown into it. None. You're already down by 14 points. You're losing, you have no momentum, yet we're going to be vanilla. We're going to be vanilla. Kurt Roper would have done a better job. To be quite honest with you, Kurt would have done a better job. Diet do Bojangles. Excellent. You know, I don't know, I, you know where the season's going to go from here. I mean, you know, last night... Lines of scrimmage, <laughs> terrible on both lines of scrimmage. Dominated on both lines of scrimmage. Offensive line and defensive line. Pushed around. Didn't get dominated last week against Vanderbilt, okay, on the defensive line. Let's go. Vanderbilt's offensive line, not very good. Kentucky's pretty good. So, you know, where do, what, what's that say about us? We don't stack up. We don't stack up. You know, Kentucky's quietly become – uh, one of the better team, the second best team in SEC East right now. The second best. And I dare say they might be the first. Because Georgia ain't looking so hot right now either. Now, they ain't looking great. But it, Jake Bentley, you know, do, I mean, you know, boom. I know his daddy's on the staff. You try to keep him happy. Why, you know, you might want to try try to do something a little bit different next week. You really might want to try to do something a little bit different next week. Back up, Skarnakia goes in, four for six. I mean, it's garbage time. He was four for six. He didn't throw any interceptions. Jake threw three. Three. Yeah. Through four games this year, he has thrown seven TD passes and seven interceptions. Where I come from, that's not good. You know, it should be like a five-to-one ratio, TD to interception. We're nowhere close to that. He's 50-50. He's 50-50. How long are y'all going to keep doing that? He turned the ball over, putting the ball on the ground, fumbles. You know, last year we were really, really good as far as takeaways go. We were one of the best teams in the nation. I got to say right now, we got to be one of the worst. One of the worst. Gifts. You give up gifts. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Rico Dowdle. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, not not that it was his fault, but in the first quarter when he fumbled on the five-yard line, give it right to him. I knew that game was over right then. I said, these, these guys aren't ready to play. They're nervous. They're dropping crap. They're not ready to play this game. They're done. And they were done. But even him... I mean, inconsistent. I mean, one week this kid goes out there and runs, looks like Earl Campbell. Okay. Looks like Ricky Williams. That might be a bit of a stretch. But you get what I'm saying. Next week, he looks like he ain't played football before. It's terrible. Terrible. Can't find holes. Uh, where to go from here? I don't know. 
I mean, we're we're two and two right now. We've already got one get. We're we're already playing one less game unless they pull some kind of miracle and schedule some FCS team. But I mean, really, what what is that going to prove? I mean, what what is that? What's that going to help? Nothing. So you're looking at the rest of the schedule. You got Chattanooga at home in November, uh, the week before you play the Taters. That should be a win. So there's three. The rest of them, where are the, where are the wins coming from? Where are they coming from? I'm going to tell you, the team that competed, the team that boat raced Coastal Carolina, which, yeah, I know, it's Coastal Carolina. The team that boat raced Vanderbilt, they can compete in an SEC schedule. They can compete in an SEC schedule. If you had played against Georgia and Kentucky – the way that you uh, boat race Vanderbilt, I'd, I'd have a lot more uh, positive outlook right now. Have a lot more positive outlook. Do I think we would have won either one of those games? No, we would have definitely not won the Georgia game. Could have uh, been very close in Kentucky game. But Kentucky's a good team. I mean, we, we could have been – we could have played a really good game and still lost to them. Uh, Take it away, taking nothing away from Kentucky here. I mean, yeah, I've talked crap about Kentucky. Kentucky, got, and a lot of our Gamecock fans and, and fellow fans, they're all up in arms and, and upset and ticked off because it's five in a row to Kentucky. It's five in a row to Kentucky. Yeah, you know, from that kind of stings a bit too, but you shouldn't be losing five in a row to anybody. And you lost, we lost last night because we played like absolute trash, and Kentucky was a good team. They deserve to lose. The last four years, we, we had a better team than them every year, except for that one three and nine season. We had a better team and still lost to them. So, you know, it's – they 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 have gotten to the point of where we we should be right now. That, that's exactly what they've gotten to. Coach Boom, when are we going to start winning – in recruiting, we got to start winning and recruiting. I'm not talking about just winning the state of South Carolina. We need to win the state of South Carolina, okay? The high school football talent in the state of South Carolina is kind of down right now. It's been in a down period the past few years. That's a fact. We need to win the state of North Carolina. There's not any good football teams in the state of North Carolina. The best one's Appalachian State. Go win the state of North Carolina recruiting. There's not many good football teams there, but there's a lot of good high school football talent there. You need to go to the state of Georgia. Still a few from there. You still a few from there. You've done a few over the years. You've got yourself a few over the years. We need to get. We need to get a few more. We need to get a few more. But you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to start putting the product on the field that wins. I mean, some of these commits we've got for 2019, they're gonna stay committed because the past couple of years you've been able to reel these kids in and keep them locked in selling them a dream of, you know, what this program is going to be. Well, I mean, when they're looking at it right now, are they really seeing that? Are they, are they seeing it come to fruit? Are they seeing things go in a backwards motion? Looks like a backwards motion to me. I'm telling you, Chattanooga should be a win. That's three. Where are the other wins coming from, though? Where are they coming from? This weekend, Missouri – we're favored by a point and a half. That line's going to swing by the time that game kicks off at noon on Saturday. We're not beating them. Drew Locke's going to throw the ball all over the ballpark. He's going to be – he's going to – Drew Locke is going to own Willie B on Saturday. Mark my words. They'll, they'll re rename it Williams Locke Stadium. He's going to be – he's going to – he's going to – he's going to – he's going to – Terrorize us. I'm going to terrorize us. Texas A&M, we ain't winning that. Not winning that. See what they did with Taters? I mean, they almost beat the Taters. Are we on that level? No. Uh, Florida on the road? No. No. Not happening. Ole Miss on the road? No, nope, that's not happening either. Look at them. I mean, they're putting up a million yards a game. And true, they have no defense. But, I mean, do we have an offense that's going to be able to score any points? No. Ain't winning that one. Oh, and uh, how about uh, Tennessee is going to win an SEC game at some point in time this season. They got 
They lost yesterday to Georgia. They got Auburn coming up. They got Alabama coming up. And then they got us coming up. Guarantee you, I'm telling you right now, mark my words, they will break that SEC losing streak against us. We'll lose to them. We'll lose to the Voltards. We'll lose to them. Because, I mean, they're improving. I mean, they, uh, you know, at least – Gave it a puncher's chance against uh, Georgia yesterday. They they tried, you know. We didn't look like we was trying at the end. They gave Georgia a decent game. And Georgia fan will sit there and tell you, well, we didn't throw the ball enough. We didn't throw the ball enough. That's why we uh, – I want to hear it. You had opportunities. Tennessee's getting better. They're heading in the right direction. We ain't heading in the right direction. We're heading backwards. Sorry for the long rant. I had some things I wanted to get off my chest. Now, I will not give up on my team. I will not change the name of the channel from Carolina Jackpot. It's staying Carolina Jackpot. I'm still staying. Spurs up till my toes up. <laughs> but I'm telling you, y'all keep on playing football like that. My toes are going to be up a lot sooner than they would have if y'all would just compete and win the games y'all ought to win. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better this week, guys. Go Gamecocks. Let's try to beat Missouri. Woo! Ah!